All righty, welcome back. Thank you again to, for tuning in to the Aladino podcast. On today's episode, we have a great uh, guest who's going to talk about uh, the art of travel. And what is art of travel? Well, she's going to explain everything because this lady, she's been traveling around the world and the past years she's been living in Portugal. That sounds great. A lot of Americans are moving to Portugal because they say that it's a crypto heaven, first of all, and also because of the golden visa, which uh, gives you residency uh, towards a citizenship in a very short time and you don't need to be a billionaire or a millionaire to get it. So as long as I heard that some stories that people can live with $2,000 a month like kings and queens. Maybe it's something to consider in yes. Manhattan. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to leave Manhattan, <laughs> consider. If you want to move to Portugal, and you don't need to speak the language because I heard of uh, families, uh, American families, that they speak English, and in Portugal, most of everybody speaks English. You know, so most it's of easy Europe. To yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's like a European style uh, uh, country that it speaks, everybody speaks English. So it's. Uh, it's not like you're going to Brazil, where it's harder to find somebody who speaks English. Depends on which areas of Brazil. And, but yes, she's going to tell us about that and uh, her, her programs or how she managed to travel for, to many countries mm-hmm. uh, with a very low budget. Oh so, yeah, we will we'll be right back after this commercialist. Welcome to the Aladino podcast. Uh, Today we are here again in one of our new episodes. And uh, here I am. I'm Aladino. I'm with Patricia. Hello, Hello, Patricia. Hello. How how is everybody doing? Everything is doing great. Uh, We're going to have today... Patricia, do you love to travel? Of course I do. Really? Because uh, do you know about the art of traveling? You know, there is an art for traveling. I didn't know about that. No, I didn't know that either. So Sounds good, though. Yeah. So we're going to talk to Maria Eugenia Abreu. She is an expert of traveling, and she's going to tell us more about art to travel. Hello. You hear me? Hey, what target? Hold on. Can you hear me? Yes. Hello. How are you? Do you hear me? Can you hear us? Ah, yes, now. And you? Yes. Can you hear us? Can you hear me? Yes. And yes. you? Yes, yes. How, yes. Are, how are you doing? It looks beautiful where you are. Good, good, good. Good. It <laughs> looks tarde, wonderful. You yes. are in paradise? Yeah. Are you? Bem-vindos a Portugal. Você, você é o Portugal? <risos> Meu Deus! Estou aqui, Cascais, Cascais. Você está no Portugal agora? <risos> Meu Sim, Deus! É fantástico! O que, que está fazendo você o Portugal agora? Já meia hora que o sol se foi embora. Oh, what are you doing in Portugal right now? Uh, I'm, I'm living here for three years now, um, in this wonderful place. It's 25 kilometers from Lisbon. So Lisbon is uh, that way. Wow, that look way, at that, Patricia. Uh, 25 kilometers. Yeah, 25 kilometers that way is Lisbon. And um, to that way is Cascais. Over there, Cascais. Cascais. Yes. Wow, that's amazing. This is the whole area. This is the this is the whole area of, of Cascais. It's called Cascais. And but that's the real art more... of travel. That's the real art of travel. Yeah, that's it. The art of travel. So Just before, three years in Portugal, but I'm staying here. Yeah. So how long you been in Portugal? 
uh, three years, three years now, more, over three years, over three years. But I'm staying here now. Now I will travel from here, but I settle down in this place, you know. And, and before Portugal, where were you? Eh, io ho vissuto in Italia, la bella Italia. Mamma mia! È la mamma mia, la bella Italia! Dove la, mia, mia, dove la mia nonna faccia la spaghetti. Il cappuccino. Il cappuccino. Conosci i Rimini? Conosci i Rimini? Sì, beh, certamente, l'Italia è come la mia seconda, seconda patria. Sì, sì. esattamente. Ho vissuto, ho vissuto là più da cinque anni. Cinque anni in Italia? Anni. Dove l'Italia? A Roma, Milano? Sì. Rimini, sì, ho vissuto a Rimini, ma ho viaggiato per tutta l'Italia, quindi la conosco bene. Benissimo, benissimo, wow! Ma veramente... Te, sì, sempre a mangiare la pasta, impre... sempre a mangiare bene. Yeah, impressive! So that's the real art of travel! Yes, yes. So... Tell me, tell me about that, the art of how, travel. That's how the business started, you know? I didn't that's know, how my business started. I didn't know there was an art for travel. How that works? Yeah, it is an art. It is an art. After a while, it started by traveling. But then after a while, I said, well, this is not my, my way of traveling. This is my way of living. So this is my lifestyle, you know? I know, I know, yes. Yes, it's amazing yeah. to travel around the world and you've been in Italy, in, in, in Europe, in, but right now it's very hot in uh, Portugal, is that right? Yeah, yeah it's been uh, very hot days and also there, there are many fires around Three, the country. 300, 350, 350 fatalities in Spain due to the heat wave. Yeah, and here there are fires from north to south all over Portugal. It's very, the firemen are, they, they've been working lately. Yeah. So, Ma Maria, Maria, Maria sí. Eugenia Abreu, is that your name? Sí. Acá, acá Genia. <laughs> Maria Eugenia Abreu, acá Genia. Show me, show me more where you are, because I'm impressed where you are. Show me more of the yes, ocean. Okay. Let me see where you are. Wow, that's beautiful. That looks nice. And that's the beach? Yeah, that's the beach. That's, this is Praia da Sarujinha. Praia da Sarujinha is that one there. Uh -huh. See? Wow. So you can um, actually jump in the water there? Yes, yes, you can. There's many people like they, they get in the water, they, they get shellfish. Uh, how do you call them? like octopus, you know, from here, you see them like, there's someone in the water over there. I'm not sure you can see it. Um, yes, yeah, they, they get uh, many octopus, um, chocos, <laughs> like um, squids. That is good, that is good, that's amazing. And so how it works, the art of travel? Tell me about the art of travel, how that works. Well, the art of travel, as I said, it, 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 it began uh, uh, by traveling. When I left my career, uh, the art of um, my agricultural engineer career, I left my nine five job and um, started to travel in the Mediterranean, my favorite place. So I went to Greece, I went to Italy, I am here now. And well, and after many, many years of traveling, then I, I decided to do something about it because uh, I became a like a reference for people. So they started asking me, so if I'm going to Italy, what should I do there? Or, but not just about traveling, but the way of living, the way of, um, you know, it became a philosophy, like a lifestyle really. So as I said, after a while, it was traveling, but then it was not traveling anymore. It's just, it was my life. It was my life. So now I help, you know, um, I'm very passionate. And I am a very courageous woman. So now I lead a passionate people around the world to find the courage to live an inspired life. So that's what I do now. That's the, the outcome of all my, my years of traveling. Uh, 
and yeah, I'm, and I'm doing my, I'm running my business from here, from Portugal. I really love this place. Um, they, everybody's welcome. I really like to help people. So anyone is welcome here. Uh, if you ever come here or to Europe, you can get in touch with me, of course. I uh, heard. I love to help people. I heard that the Portuguese are tired of uh, getting too many Americans invading Portugal right now. <laughs> they are tired of what? <laughs> of getting too many Americans invading Portugal right now. They're moving to Portugal. Yeah, well, that's true. That's true, but not just Americans. Uh, there are many, many foreigners because they they realize about the value of this country and the beauty. Um, so, you know, and they facilitate things for people to come here. So that's why they are coming. And they are helping the country in some, some ways. But yeah, there are a lot as well. <laughs> And, and the real estate property is getting up, it's getting expensive now that all the Americans or all the tourist advantage or new residents well, with every, the gold, golden visa. Yeah, everything is changing because like, let's say Portuguese people, they are in a transition, like they, they used to be like by themselves. And now they are uh, not just real estate, but all the, the way they, they, they deal with things, you know. They were not uh, used to to people, to tourists. So some some business that they didn't exist uh, exists now, and uh, you know, because they are in the transition of uh, having a, a a life dealing with tourists or other people that are not Portuguese. So they are in the transition of that. So sometimes you you find here like you go to a place and. And they don't know how to deal with tourists. Uh, even if you want to buy something or, you know, um, because they, they assume that, uh, you know, they are used to deal with just Portuguese and they assume that it has to be that way. But tourists are different, you know, like different cultures. So that's the situation. But little by little, I think they are... There are some benefits to the country, so in other ways. Yeah, it has a lot of I would of like advantages. Portugal to remain Portugal because it's, it has its beauty, its charm. It's, it's very charming. So, yeah, I wish it, it would remain like this. But, you know, I am a foreigner as well. <laughs> I am from Uruguay. I am here. Yeah, as you said, Americans are, they found a good... Um, place here to where where to retire you know mainly people who are retired came here to portugal so i have a question do you think you're going to yes. stay stay in portugal or are you going to go to another country again soon no no i'm planning to stay here you, i'm okay. planning to stay here because i yeah I I decided after a while that I, that I had to find a place where, you know, to settle down. And uh, <clears throat> I planned everything to come here mm -hmm. uh, from the beginning. So from the from since I was in Uruguay, between Italy and, and Portugal, I went to Uruguay and then I applied for a visa mm -hmm. there. I, I applied for a visa to to come here. So I have plans, uh, solid plans okay. for, yes. But so do you have any other plans now, to travel around, maybe to go just to visit in a, another country? Do you have anything set up? For example, I, I uh, <clears throat> the reason I came here also is because I could develop my, my business, which is the art of travel. And I could stay here for for half of the year and then i could be somewhere else if i want for example if i want to develop a, a program in in italy then i i could be i could go one month there and stay there or i don't necessarily have to be here most of the time i have to be here but i can be in other countries so that's why i like the flexibility of the you know it would fit my lifestyle 
because I can uh, develop everything from here, but I can move around. And also it's a good point for me because I, I like the Mediterranean. I like this area. Uh, it's, it's, it's a, the, place, the places where I like the most, you know, before Italy, I went to Greece. So all these areas, Spain and Portugal. And it's close to many places, Portugal. Like, you know, even if you want to go to, to the US, it's the closest uh, uh, from Europe, it's the closest, or to South America to see my family. And also it's close to, to Greece or Italy or Spain. So for me, it's ideal. This okay. place, yeah, it's ideal. And then I can move from here. And I can travel, I, and I can be for a long time outside as well. Okay. So maybe if I want to be out three months, then I can do it. And and with your business, the the art of travel, with your business, how do you how do people contact you through the, your website? And, and mm. what type of yeah. organization do you prepare? Uh, is one on one depending on the, everybody's needs to travel or? Yes, um, I have a website. It's www.kenya-abreu.com. And I, I have there all my social media. I have all, uh, all the things, my newsletter, all the th all my story, my, all the information, my brand products. For example, I created also a, a perfume which is, represents my lifestyle. Uh, many other things. Everything is in there. My social media is there. And also, I got and my program. My programs. I currently have six programs. Um, my business is about uh, uh, life strategies and travel expertise. Let's say it's like it's like coaching. It's about coaching. So I have six programs, uh, current programs. Uh, one of them uh, has traveling included. So it's called the Getaway Experience. It's like a retreat. So it is um coaching and traveling so it's it's the personal development it's it's a lot of fun because it's also gastronomic experiences everything related to the culture it's coming up in august in italy for example that one uh, but then i have others that i can do can, can do online one-on-one -on -one or they are on my page if if if, uh, if they want uh, information detail um, and they can contact me of course uh, um, so online and in person as well. Now, now I started doing more in person. Um, what else? Uh, yeah. So there's a mastermind as well. So group group coaching. Um, oh, that sounds good. That sounds yeah. good. So yeah, we'll 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 leave you, your information here on the podcast for everybody who wants to. Uh, get more information on and how also, to travel uh, I develop, in Europe. I develop the. I develop the. It's not just traveling. It's not just not, not just traveling. It's like uh, you know. I develop with the traveling. I did my own process, my self discovery uh, journey through traveling. So that's why it's the art of travel. But it's also like a mindset, a philosophy, a, a way of being, a, a way of uh, living. Mainly. So it's, it's coaching. It's coaching. It, it doesn't have to be about traveling. I did it through traveling, my own process, but everyone is different. You can, everyone can do it in a, in a different way. Um, it doesn't have to be through traveling, but yes, it's true that I have a program that includes traveling, of course, uh, but it doesn't have to be necessarily. Um, yeah, so that's, uh, that's about it. And, uh, and and is it is it is it true that people need a lot of money in order to travel? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. <laughs> I when I uh, I didn't myself, so I can I can help people with that as well because I became like an expert on that as well. That's why I I was able to travel for so many years. Um, you know, the resources, the resources that you have and you can develop, you can develop. Um, because the contact, the, the personality depends on anything. But for example, in my case, uh, I put all my resources, uh, my personality, everything to work. It was, 
it was amazing because you get very creative. Um, you know, you can do, I, when I left my job, I was uh, working for the University of Georgia as a agricultural engineer in, the, in, in Atlanta. And I, when I left my job, so, and when I did that and I wanted to travel full time, I, de- I said, I decided that I had to change my way of living because, you know, one thing is that living in, in the U.S. for, with, as a professor, uh, with a salary, etc. And the other thing is that you want to travel full time, no, no income. Um, well, so I said, I had to change so many things. And with time, I, I was changing that way of being. It was not that difficult to me because I adapt very easily. I can go to a country and start the, uh, Maybe after a while, just I talk the language, I speak the language, or uh, you know. But as I said, it depends on who you are. For some people, are it's more difficult. Many people that I talk with, they are very fearful. And you know, I am one who jumps and and trusts, and I work with the laws of the universe and that type of things. So. That's my philosophy, and that's that's how I do it. But it doesn't uh, work, or it's difficult for some people to trust or to to trust on that. You know, everything's gonna be right, and <laughs> whatever. You don't have more money, and then yeah, but everything is right. I am very positive. <laughs> you know, I am very positive. It's a, it's a um, there are many things, many things in, in the field. You know that. Yeah, and, and there are difficult, difficult situations as well. Because another thing is that while I was traveling, many people, they think, oh, you are always traveling. They think I am always on holiday. And I, I sometimes I get mad about it. I used to, not, not anymore. Not anymore. But, but because it's very difficult. You, you go out there by yourself. You have to deal with situations, happens, whatever happens to you. You have to deal with that. You are by yourself. Like, even if something happens, an accident, it could be anything, you know? And you have to deal with situations. It's, it's really hard sometimes. You grow, but, but it's not like I am on holiday. They think I am, like, in the, at the beach every day. Like, no, it's not like that. Because it was my life after all, you know? It was not just traveling. It, it's my life. I'm still, so, I'm still amazed. I'm still amazed with the background that you have. Is the sunset happening right now? Well, uh, maybe you can see the light of the... Yeah. I am under a light here. But yeah, that's but... great. That's a great shot. Oh, that's beautiful. So the sun already the sun already oh, set? the sun is gone for a while, but let me show you here. Let's see. The same now. Now the lights are different, see? Yeah, the sun sets already. Yeah, it's already what 9 p.m. But look at skies. Look at skies over there. Yeah, right there is the sun setting. Yeah, so it's like around 9 p.m. where you are. Yeah. Well, no, it's now no 9:30. What what time? 9:30. Yeah. 9:30. Yeah, 9:30. 30. Yes, 9:30. 4:30. 9:30. All right. So that's been uh, an amazing time. Uh, that's awesome that you communicate with us with a Latino uh, podcast. We are happy to have you here on the Aladino podcast. And um, I'm very happy also to con- to get in touch with you, <laughs> New York to Portugal. <laughs> yeah, oh Portugal, that's great. That's the uh, that's the amazing thing about the internet and the and the Zoom, and we can connect uh, with Whenever people you are. all over the world. So it's great, it's yeah, great to I... connect. And we thank you for being part of Aladino podcast. Yeah, it's my pleasure to be part of Aladino podcast. Yeah, my pleasure. Thank you very much for for the invite. Thank you very much for this talk. And to be in touch with you again. You know, it's very good to connect. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Maria Eugenia Abreu. Sí, yes, uh, ladies and gentlemen, Maria Eugenia Abreu from Portugal. Join on, joining our Aladino podcast here in New York City. Again, thank you. Thank, thank you. you, Maria Eugenia. 
Ah, arrivederci, okay. ciao bella, arrivederci. ci vediamo all'Italia, ci vediamo all'Italia, ci vediamo, ci vediamo <ride> ciao. ciao. Awesome, awesome, so that was great, oh that was amazing, let's make a, let's take a five minutes break and we'll be right back. Thank you very much for listening to uh, our Aladino podcast and I hope you tune in for our next uh, future episodes because we're going to have uh, people, regular people, New Yorkers, if you are in Europe, you are whatever you are, just contact us, send us an email through social media, aladinopodcasts at gmail.com, on Facebook, Aladino Podcasts Facebook, uh, YouTube, Aladino Podcasts, everywhere, we are in social media platforms. Contact us, we do a Zoom meeting, we talk on the phone, you come in person, that's the, that's the plan. Whatever you prefer. We're that's, here for you. That's how we can do it. And we make it fun, you know, you tell us your story, you know, your life, your things that you have done, you, you know, you don't need to be a top of the line celebrity or a millionaire or billionaire. You come on and yeah, we have fun. That's all, all for today on this uh, podcast edition episode. Thank you very much and have a good night. Good night, everyone.